basically my role as service manager is to manage the service department as frank as that sounds. So that's from a staffing level as well as a, a client interaction. And nine times out of 10, the client doesn't need to speak to the service manager because their staff do such an excellent job that there's not really a need to escalate to a manager. However, um, I do make a point of connecting with the clients um, on a somewhat regular basis, check in, see how things are going, ask if there's anything we can do to improve. Um, it's always important for me to maintain a, a personal relationship and get to know who our clients are so that I can help us serve them to the way they need to be served. So if somebody was to, to need to speak to me, they would certainly just call in. They would get one of our friendly dispatch and they would transfer the call to me. Or most of the time, I find a lot of our interactions are happening over email. And I, and I think that's probably because most people are working remotely at this time and it's very difficult to get a phone conversation connection going. I, have a, I, I like to do a lot of things. I'm, I'm a very social person, so I will pretty much do anything that involves other people. So whether that's getting together for a beer on a patio or, you know, even just connecting with a friend over a phone or Zoom right now. Um, I do like to be outside. We do do some hiking. Um, we're looking forward to the summer. We have a pool and so we spend a lot of time sitting by the pool and swimming. Um, I have a 10 year old daughter, so she um, she keeps me busy. Oftentimes my my outside of work time involves uh, being mom the taxi driver to wherever she needs to go um but yeah i know I, I like to read and i like to travel which i don't get to do right now but i'm looking forward to that again um, i love camping and, and cottaging and i one of the concerns with me working at sky comp solutions was i don't really do gaming or it or like that's not really where my interests lie specifically and so i was kind of worried about that being sort of an odd fit but um, no, it's been great. And it's been actually a really good way for me to sort of learn some new stuff that I had no idea about. I now have a, a broader knowledge when it comes to some gaming and, and Star Wars and things like that that I wouldn't normally have been exposed to. So, um, yeah, it's a it's pretty, pretty wide range of things that I like to do, but I definitely like to keep busy. So. Yeah, Serge and I have been um, members of the Safe Rotary Club for four years or almost five years, I guess. And um, I knew about Skycomp and what Skycomp Solutions does. And I really like working with Serge on the committees that we worked together. So when he approached me about taking on the service manager role, it was uh, it was a it was a lot of it was a lot of consideration on my part. I was really enjoying the job that I was doing, uh, working for an organization that I'm still extremely passionate about. But it was just sort of an opportunity to try something new and develop maybe some new skills and step outside of the finance role, which I had been doing for a long time. And it wasn't, it wasn't really what I loved. It was what I was good at. Um, I loved working for hospice, but um, the finance role was just sort of, I fell into it because it was something that my skill set worked well for so yeah it was uh it was a tough it was a tough decision to make because it was you know it was during a pandemic and who's who really leaves a job like a secure job in the middle of a pandemic to try something completely new um different industry different job but uh sometimes you just gotta make a leap of faith and that's the way you grow right so yeah this was um this was just a really cool challenge. I was I was ready for something new and I really liked what, what Skycomp Solutions did and um, I wanted to try something new. It's really sad to say, but it would be my cell phone. Um, I'm, I'm pretty attached to my cell phone for so many different reasons, but um, I'm not sort of, I'm not really into like the Instagramming and, and necessarily like the social media, that sort of stuff. I, I, you know, I do participate a little bit in social media, but being able to connect with friends, I have so many group chats and um, even just being able to connect with my daughter when we're, we're not together, we, we've transferred our home phone to a cell phone so that if she's heading to the park or, you know, she's home and I'm at work or that's how we sort of communicate is just via like a quick text or um, so yeah, as being as social as I am, my phone is sort of 
the most important piece of technology and I, um, I, I would love if it never lost its battery and it never died and all of my apps worked all the time. So that would a hundred percent cell phone.